Ready? Mm -hmm. um, this is the, the school, the primary school for this community. Uh, and back in the 80s, it was specifically for this community. But now, individuals in the outlying areas are able to attend this primary school also. But again, everything was confined into the one area, and uh, every every amenity was provided to the individuals. Uh, we'll just walk down here, and we'll start talking about the differences in the buildings. Uh, we're going to show you the different layers, or the different levels, within the different buildings. Around the corner, there was a good example uh, of the different styles and what they represented. Yeah, because here's three of it's right down there. This was one of the places that um, we wanted to take you because this really does tell you about the three different layers or three different hierarchies within the building. And again, when we were talking down on the very end on the right, that's the worker complex. And originally that was for temporary housing. That was for individuals who were working here, who wanted to move up or wanted to get a new housing. Um, you can sort of see it. were extremely plain. There's nothing even on the facade, no paint. It's just the, con the concrete. The other difference was within the structure itself. The workers' buildings uh, are about 120 it's millimeters or centimeters, uh, where the normal is about 280. So, and then the next building over is the one of the seven story, this is sort of the generic seven story structure. This would be something um, that professors would actually be part or would live in. And you can tell, start to tell the difference between the two. This has a little bit more ornamentation. The windows are actually a little different than what you see over in the workers' housing. Um, <coughs> as far as there's a gate to get into the building or a door to get into the building. Um, so you start to see the progression of the hierarchy. And then on the very left over here, you'll see a completely different style. And this style was designated for directors of the school. Uh, the difference is, is that back in the 80s, that small tile was seen as um, fashion or something that was in style at the time. And, and it's expensive. Yeah, and it was expensive. So it's designating wealth and it's designating a hierarchy. Um, so again, it becomes a little bit more ornamented. ornamented ornamentation on the building with the windows, the tile, and around the back you can start to see the gardens in between the two spaces. Uh, we'll have a little bit more in the gardens themselves, but you can just take a good glance or take a look around at the three different types of structures and again the, how the architecture is starting to designate the hierarchy in the society.